Hello everybody. Over recent days the media agenda has been dominated by the positive news about the introduction of the COVID-19 vaccine across the country. A very welcome development which I hope will start the long and desired return to easier trading conditions. The other issue we can't get away from is Brexit, with the end of the transition period just weeks away. So our sector, already struggling to keep its businesses afloat and its employees in jobs due to the pandemic, is now holding its breath for a last minute Brexit deal, which has created further challenges on what is an unprecedented scale. As I record this, the Prime Minister has returned from Brussels and talks are due to resume with a new deadline of Sunday for yet another review. I wanted to take this opportunity to give you an update on the issues Make UK is most concerned about and which we continue to raise with government, the opposition and of course other key figures and stakeholders. We all know the value of our sector that we represent. It's worth some £273 billion to the UK economy and with nearly 3 million employees, the work we do could not be more important and the pandemic has shone the spotlight on the role you and your businesses play. I'm confident that government has got the messaging too. After all, we had a special mention in the Prime Minister's speech ahead of the last lockdown. However, Brexit remains in the balance and manufacturing jobs across the country depend on the government delivering on its promises of an ambitious free trade agreement with the EU in the few days available to do so. It's been a long journey, but we must keep their feet to the fire through the implementation of whatever is eventually agreed. Yesterday, Wednesday the 9th of December, we released a media statement to reiterate the need to secure a trade deal and provide additional certainty for businesses to understand how to trade with the EU and how that trade will be conducted. Regardless of the details of the deal, significant change will take place at the end of the year. These changes brought about from leaving the single market and customs union will leave companies having to navigate new barriers to doing business with the EU, including the exporting and importing of goods. There will be administrative and practical changes that will come from new border formalities, the documentation for shipments, new labelling needed for goods, and the possibility of physical checks on goods at the ports. We continue to constantly talk to government about the need to make sure that border systems are in place to assist UK firms. Of course, we offer solutions to them as well, um, particularly around the tried and tested systems at the ports and the visible presence of customs and other border control staff or the system support that is vital for firms to submit the necessary paperwork and pay any relevant duties and taxes. We are also pushing for a longer term package of support that both mitigates the impacts of COVID-19 and supports firms in managing the end of the transition period and the long tail of adjustment that's going to be required through 2021 and beyond with the new partnership with the EU. The piecemeal support that has been offered to date is simply not enough and a long term support package that is really reflective of international competitors and where they have got to is now needed. Without this, the road to recovery will be a slow one. But we know for manufacturers, it's not just goods that will be affected at the end of the transition period. Services will be impacted too. It's important to know that services have become an essential part of UK manufacturing's offerings. Uh, these services are sold often as integrated parts of a wider package. These include installation, training, maintenance, service, and some reports suggest that this can be as much as 30% of the value added for manufacturers. Many multinational firms use the UK as their service hub for the European market, with thousands of visits to the EU happening every, every year. We still need clarity on business travel, visas and work permit requirements, which could be different whether we get a deal or not. But in the event of a no deal, this is likely to be by member state. This means employers would face 27 different sets of rules in the future. We also need mutual recognition of professional qualifications so that your engineers and other professionals can continue to operate using UK qualifications or qualifications gained here 
in the UK and then really respected across Europe. I could continue to list the outstanding issues that, uh, that we need clarity on for, for a long time, but I won't on this particular video. We know the challenges your business are facing and continue to face. And while it is difficult to prepare without having all the information you need, we want to support you as much as we possibly can. By having a thorough understanding of your product systems and supply chains, you'll be better able to respond flexibly to the information that will eventually be released. And we will ensure that this information gets to you as soon as it is available, as we have been doing all year. Make UK is here to help. You'll find on our website the services, experts and events that we're providing over the coming weeks and into the new year. I encourage you to stay in touch with us. The insight you provide is vital to our continued conversation with government. So thank you very much for your time today and I hope you and your families have a very happy Christmas and a prosperous new year.